So real quick, got the uh, little mini T out for a little parking lot rip. Last one I had, uh, <laughs> she got introduced to a light pole at about 20 mile an hour. Uh, right there, she jammed that control, basically smushed that part of the control arm and jammed it about halfway down, but I pushed it back in with the key and was able to, you know, finish run, finish running for the night so it wasn't too bad but I went ahead and fixed my uh, shock problem uh, they just had the aluminum shocks in stock at my local shop so I just went ahead and picked those up and a set of uh, control arms front and rear not too bad price so I can't really complain but I also got some of these uh, street carpet wheels so they're more for the street, they're more firm, and testing them out around the house, and they're uh, they're a lot slippier than these knobbies. The knobbies are about worn out. I, I took it around a baseball field today, ripped it up, and I could notice the loss in traction. So yeah, that's the RC life. All right, got the uh, road slash carpet tires put on real quick. And I forgot to mention, I put a little custom light kit in here the other night. I went kind of crazy with the hot glue gun. I had one of these um, extra bottle cap LED light things from the from one of my uh, art art stores. That's you know a couple bucks. I had it laying around the house, and I figured you know I could probably wire that to uh, work for the truck. And at first, this didn't fit. I had to I had to move this cork thing around. I put it here first, but it was uh, hitting the receiver. So anyway, it fits. But yeah, check that out, man. Night lights, pretty cool. So not a bad little hack for like three, four dollars if you have the you know hot glue gun and whatever and the ability to do it. So yeah, I'm gonna test that out here shortly. All right, we are powered up, lights on, pins in. I had to move parking lots to this additional parking lot where it's nice and empty because, uh, yeah, some late night buttholes pulling in the other place, kind of busy. It's kind of a known restaurant spot, but anyway, let's see how this runs. See if I can keep it in focus. Oh yeah, that looks cool. And this tires handles so much better. And just slide around. No more cartwheeling off the line. Oh yeah. Highly recommend those carpet tires for the street. But yeah, I tried them earlier on the uh, on the dirt. I have a nice little dirt strip. Uh, by my house and it gripped but yeah it's not ideal you know, it'll work but it was real slippy and under throttle it just was uncontrollable whoa so yeah I actually loosened up the suspension for stuff like that so when it hits uh hits jumps the rear doesn't doesn't hop up so much but stiff suspension is good for low acceleration if you have grip, that is, but, <laughs> yeah, this is a fun little RC, can't complain. Back, trimmed up. Yeah, it's grippy now. Turns nice. Woo! Slippy when you want it and grippy when you want it. Alright.
Ooh. All right, a little, little rambunctious. Yeah, look at that. Cuts at half throw. I reduced the steering weight, so it's not so, not so much, because, yeah, out of the box, it's, it's nice to have that angle, but too much. And low throttle, I mean, you can see it's still, still got a nice tight turning radius. At low speed, but yeah. higher speed is a little more forgiving. Brakes are a little too good. Close. All right, I'm getting chewed up. 